Pranav. Congratulations and welcome to the big day today. Uh, can you. you introduce yourself and what are you working currently? Yeah, so uh, I'm Pranav Ansar. So I've completed my B.Tech in Computer Engineering. Uh, post that I've joined AGES uh, for 11 month post graduation program in Data Science. Uh, right now I'm working as an analytics and project manager at SBI Life. Again, as a fresh, I would say this is my second job. I was working as a data scientist at Snapman previously, which was a fintech startup. And yeah, so that's about oh, yeah. it. And I'm, I'm currently pursuing MTech from IIT Jammu in uh, AI and machine learning. So AGS has provided me the base step to, uh, to my uh, journey of uh, getting a master's degree from a reputed college again itself, I would say. So yeah, that's... Uh, you said this is your second job. So, what yeah. are the common challenges till date you have faced uh, while working on data science projects, and how have you overcome them? Okay. So, one challenge I would say is gathering data is a is a task because the companies have a raw data uh, in their system. So, gathering the data, pre-processing the data itself, and uh, driving insights from that kind of a data, like turning a raw data into a meaningful data, is one of the challenges which I would say I've faced over the year. Describe a situation where you had to collaborate with cross-functional teams or stakeholders to deliver a successful data science project. How did you ensure effective communication and alignment of goals? Okay, so one one thing I would say is uh, creating a data model itself is a is a task to achieve because uh, we would say like a data uh, data modeling is easy in terms, but uh, but uh, making the stakeholders understand what the actual problem to be solved is and how we are solving it is is a challenge itself. So uh, I have communicated with the stakeholders to basically un make them understand like how how my how my model is. Uh, solving their business problem itself and uh, yeah again uh, the the key here is uh, communicating them the in layman term like how how your your solution is uh, is their solution to their problem so yeah I would say. Prana, what are your career aspirations in the field of data science and analytics and where you see yourself ten years journey? Okay so uh, right now as I mentioned I'm pursuing my MTech in AI and ML itself so that I, I believe that the 10 years or 5 years down the line I'm, I'm seeing myself as a as an individual who will be contributing to uh, to uh, others' career growth as well and even my career growth and uh, and to organization as well uh, so uh, again uh, one thing is uh, that you have to contribute to the society as well like uh, even uh, the personal growth is not enough you will have to contribute to the society itself so yeah that's it. from your experience in the field of data science and analytics which is the most sought after skill or competency that companies look for uh, i would say like the interviews which i have gave uh, with the data with uh, ages associated so mostly python and sql were usually asked in the interviews again if you are applying for a data scientist role so machine learning will uh, will be a will be a key key skill to develop yeah any career advice you would like to give for the aspiring data scientists or uh, people or students, candidates who want to pursue or take up data science? Mm -hmm. yeah. So one thing I would say is uh, uh, basically get the domain knowledge. So even though you're learning technical skills, that won't be enough to suffice in the industry. You will need domain knowledge in whatever industry you're going to end up with. So, and again, uh, uh, Pre-processing the data, cleaning the data is one important task because, uh, like Bhupesh sir in our in our sessions used to say, that 90% of the uh, of your data science journey is cleaning the data, getting the data, gathering the data, and 10% is just modeling. So yeah, that's the advice I would give. Thank you, Pranav. Thank you. Really lovely talking to you and wish you good luck. Thank you.